G'day, how fast can you solve the following question? 59 multiplied by 16. I'll give you five seconds. Go. All right, time's up. Did you get the answer of 944? If you did, congratulations, because that is the correct answer. But if not, hey, you know the drill. I'm going to show you right now how to work out these types of questions in under five seconds. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using a method called the subtraction method, which can be used to multiply any two two-digit numbers together, well, pretty quickly. So let's have a look at the example here. We have 59 multiplied by 16. Now, as you can see with 59 here, it's pretty close to 60. In fact, it's equal to 60 minus 1. So what we're going to be working out is first off, we're going to be going 60 multiplied by 16. And from that, we're going to be taking away 1 multiplied by 16. So let's do that. So first off, 60 multiplied by 16. So if you do this, it's not that hard to work out. We have 10 times 60, which is our 600 plus 360, 960. And from this, we're going to be subtracting 1 times 16, which is minus 16. So we have 960 minus 16. We get our final answer of 944. So wasn't that easy? Well, you know what I'm going to do right now. First off, I'm going to ask you to like this particular video if you like this particular trick. And now what I'm going to do, like usual, I'm going to have a couple that you can practice on. So let's do this. So first off, we have 24 multiplied by 89. I don't think you should have a real problem with that. I'll give you another one. 53 multiplied by 78. All right, so what do we do right now? Well, we're going to pause the video and give these a go. While you're at it, hit the like button. Hey, maybe subscribe at the same time. But then come back and see what the answers are. So, have you done that? Let's do this right now. We'll go through these answers. So, first off, we have 24 multiplied by 89. So, the number that's closest to a tens number here is going to be our 89. So, it's close to a 90, and 89 is equal to 90 minus 1. So, both of these are going to be multiplied by 24. We have 24 multiplied by 90, and 24 multiplied by minus 1. That's a pretty easy one, that particular one. So, 24 multiplied by 90. Okay, so we have 20 by 90, which is 1800, plus 360, so we have 2160. And from this, we're going to be subtracting 24. So, what do we get when we do that? We get our final answer of 2136. How did you go with that one, okay? All right, hopefully you did well. So now let's go to the next example, 53 multiplied by 78. So the 78 is close to an 80. It's equal to 80 minus 2. And both of these are going to be multiplying by 53. So let's just go through and do that. So first of all, we have 53 multiplied by 80. So 50 times 80 is 4,000. Uh, 3 times 80 is 240. So we have 4,240 when we put those together. 53 times minus 2, well, that's not that hard. We're going to be subtracting 106. So we do this, we get our final answer. We have 4,134. So how did you go with that? Pretty all right? Now for your homework. Practice a bunch of these questions and get confident with them. Not every question is going to be easy, but that's the thing with practice. You're going to get better and better. As usual, if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and leave me a comment telling me what you thought of this particular technique. A big thank you to my patrons. There is a link in the description if you should support my channel. It is greatly appreciated. We'll see you next time.